For this last example, we're going to make a construction where we take this line segment here with these two dots. And we're going to make we're going to turn it into something that's 3 times as long. Really all that means is just doing 3 copies. So I'm going to do this one, you know, the standard way now. I'm going to go ahead and draw myself a nice long line. I like to make the new lines dotted until I actually find the length that I want. So it's a nice long line because I don't I'm not exactly sure how long 3 times as much would be, but I'm pretty sure I could fit it on there. So now I need to start with a point, so I'm going to go ahead and mark a point on this line. So there will be my starting point. Now I need to copy this line here three times. So let's go ahead and see what we got. If we go ahead and center the wheel on it, we got to figure out where does that end point hit here. So the wheel is on one end point. When I say the wheel, I mean the center of the wheel. And then the other one, it looks like we have to use the inside markers. Okay, so which marker am I going to use this time? Looks like the outermost one. Let's double check. I'm going to go ahead and mark it on there just to see. That looks pretty good. It looks like it goes right through it. So if I were on the center of the wheel and I went through the outermost part, now I can make some copies. Okay, so next I'm going to center my wheel on the point that I started on the new line. And i got to make three copies. So I'm going to mark it once. Then I center it now on that mark. I'm going to do another copy. Now I'm going to mark it twice. Now I move to the next mark. And this will be three times. So there we go. We have three copies of it. One, two, three. So if I make a segment, drawing on this straight edge dotted line through those three marks, let's see what we would get. There we go three times as long. Three copies. Easy as that. So hopefully this will help you as you do these. I encourage you guys to watch the videos more than once.